So we're going to look at play. We've got Joyce has got the toys here. So what the goodness of the play is, and we've actually got all the dogs here. We've got to look, at them, look at them. They're smelling. There's all the. We've got lots of dog toys here. Lots of Kong Buster Cube, which are fantastic for Barker and Barker liver treats. And Joyce has got them out, and she's, she's just getting some excitement. Look at them sniffing. Here comes Abby, who's our old lady, and they're having a really good sniff of them. So what's this? What's this? And, and they go like this and they're trying to find out what they are. Can you see them sniffing? You can see the interest. Now they haven't had these toys for a while, so they're giving them a really good sniff. A really good sniff. And so we let them play. And hopefully Joyce will be able to talk to us as we play. Now each of these treats they've got um they've got the liver treats in them, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes what I do, I, I just get a few, you know, a small handful, and just throw them on the floor and tell them to seek, and, you know, get them using their noses, find these things. What's this one? I've got to knock that one around. I've got to be rough with this one. Whoa, yes. Whoa, yes. <laughs> one of the cheapest toys and one of the ways you can use to train your dog is just to get a just an old piece of material get your treats inside it initially so it smells nice i just tie a little knot and i call these my mouses or doggies or what's this what's this what's this oh where's his mousey where's his mousey where's the mousey now with this one oh, you can teach them to hold Leave it, good, so it's out. And if you keep this in your pocket, which doesn't take up any room, and you ever need an instant toy, you've got it mm. absolutely super. What's the benefit then of, of just playing with the dog instead of just taking them on the walk or whatever? What's the benefit oh, of getting the play? Well, it's wonderful. It, they enjoy it, you enjoy it. Um, Some noise down here. It gets the dog's brain thinking and mental activity is often better than physical activity. They've got to work things out. Make little obstacle courses in your garden. You put things around hide them. See, what's this one? What's it? Oh, and all the treats have come out of that, but the ball's good, isn't it? I think the treats have nearly come out of this one. What's that? Wow, isn't that good? Isn't that good? So by just putting your toys, your general toys, mm -hmm. in a box or a bed, keeping them out of the dog's way, so that you really have a play time yeah. and you can go in the box, pull out what they want. So they, um, you can see, Chinook here. And it's really especially important. So you don't just keep the toys around for them to go and play no, with when they want? I don't, and especially my ragged toys, because I would use this kind of thing for training. Yeah. It would be something that I would take away from the dog, keep on his shelf, mm -hmm. and just get it out to play with. Yeah. A bit like your husband. <laughs> Stick him on a shelf, get him out when it's play time. <laughs> and then it's much more exciting. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. It's a much more exciting. Story. And you'll get more of a reward out of it if it then becomes yes. excitement. because yes. Rather it's than not it so being around all the time. That's right. If it's a general, if it's a general thing, they soon lose their focus. Yes. But if you've got something exciting, then yes. it's... And also, if you get a dog that chews up and destroys things, you're leaving toys around, you need to use special toys for dogs that have got a chewing up problem. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, li the liver treats go really well in the in the Buster oh, Cubes, don't they, in the Buster Bones. Because and she hasn't lost yeah, interest yeah. in this bone because she knows there's something in it, so she's mm -hmm. really... Uh, they're really both, well, both of them are going for it, aren't they? We have, they've, they've, they've had yes. the Buster Cube, and, but the bone's still keeping them going. And it's it? very important that dogs have toys and can be played with, especially if they're a single dog. Our dogs have the benefit of five dogs around all the time mm, and mm. different dogs visiting us. Um, so they Even have in West Haven or West Heaven for dogs. But, but if there's only the one dog, it really is important that they play. And these interactive toys are excellent. There's holes in most of them. Once they get the idea that if they're not them, Little Toots is the best at this one. She loves this one, but she doesn't like she doesn't like playing with other dogs. She likes playing <laughs> Oh yeah, she's very snooty our little pattern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well <laughs>
in this get this i mean it doesn't matter which treats go in these either you could no, mix the veggie no. treats in so they were getting the extra um from the garlic and from all the added extras because yes. it's about yes. the feed and chase isn't it as well, well it's I, not yes. you're using the treats they get the reward for their own ingenuity almost don't they so it's they still do. a reward they do and i mean if you've got a dog that that is destructive and you've got to leave them um in a cage all day then the, then the best toy that i can recommend is uh, the calm which i think the, calm the is big red one isn't thing. it yeah but the doggy calm you can actually put the treats in put cheese on the top biscuits cheese on the top put it in the microwave let it go cold and set and we just put it in the microwave for say 30 seconds and um, let it go cold and set and then put it in with the dog for the dog in its cage or bed when you're actually going out and the dog's got something to keep it occupied. Brilliant. So that's that I would recommend. Fantastic. Definitely. Okay, well we'll um we'll leave you to carry on your play and oh off they go again. <laughs> and um and thank you very much for today.